It's time for a little experiment, uh, comparing ATI mode and GPS mode and the difference in how they hold position when you have your control stick centered. So first thing we're going to do is uh, in GPS mode now, i got a green blink in GPS mode. I'm just going to take off, fly around in a circle in GPS mode, then I'm going to switch to ATI, fly around in a circle, just to show you it flies the same way in ATI or GPS. The difference is really only in the positional hold. In ATI mode, when I stop with control centered, it's free to drift with the wind. In GPS mode, if I stop with control centered, it should hold position. That's the plan. Here we go. Now we're in GPS mode now. That's holding position in GPS mode. It's holding very stable. That's nice. forward stick and yawing. Now, kind of an untidy circle, but that was in GPS mode. So if I come back to the same position, I go up there, center the controls, single blink. That's not quite much trouble. That's a bit. GPS mode, it should pretty much hold itself there, and it's doing that. Now, if I do the same thing in ATI mode, back it up so you can see the light. I take green flash. If I switch to ATI mode, you should see a yellow flash. Now it's in ATI mode, yellow flash. So the same deal, if I just hold forward stick and yaw, it'll drive around in a circle. Doesn't look all that different from GPS mode. The only difference is if I come back and try and hover here now. Okay, let's just let it sit here. A single blink should be centered. No, a little bit more. And it's... Okay. okay, if I just let it sit there, the little light breeze that's blowing is going to carry it away from me. So it's not holding position. That's the only difference between GPS and ATI mode. The other difference, in ATI mode still, if I give this thing a push, if I give it a push in that direction, it'll just keep sliding along at that speed. Bring it back. If I give it a push, if I give it a push forward, I give it a push forward, it just keeps drifting forward. That's in ATI mode. It doesn't hold position, it's free to drift. So do the same thing in GPS mode now. Green light for GPS. Okay, we're in GPS mode. It should. I'm going back and touch, so I don't have to walk so far. So it's holding position here. Sort of. It's drifting a bit. It's because there is a bit of a wind, so it's hunting around, but give or take half a meter, it's pretty much holding its position. If I give it a push, it won't go anywhere, it'll come back. If I push it over there, it should come back. It's still hovering in the same spot. If I take it for a walk, it's fighting to go back. If I let it go, it'll go back to its original place. Give or take. Whoa. Circling a bit, it's still hunting for its original spot. There, so it it recovered back to the spot where it was originally at. So in GPS mode, when the controls are centered, it tries to hold that position. If the wind is blowing on it or I'm physically dragging it around, it'll come back to that position. But what happens if I drag it well out of the out of that spot and uncenter the controls, actually drive it around. Well, let you forget about this location. The moment I move the controls, it'll memorize a new location and hover in that spot. So I'll drag it away, drag it back over to there, and then when I let it go, I'm immediately going to try and take control. So it's trying
trying really hard to go back. I let go and then move the stick. There you go. Now it's hovering over there. And bring it back. So the moment I move the sticks, it cancels out the GPS guidance that's trying to force it back to this spot. Every time I put any kind of control stick input and I let go, it's now hovering over there. It's not, it doesn't care about the original position anymore. So how can a GPS glitch that suddenly tells it, if it's sitting here in hover and a GPS glitch occurs and tells it, oh, I should be in China, yeah, it'll take off while it's in hover mode, but any kind of stick input to prevent that will cancel it and set it to a new GPS position when I let go. Now it's hovering here. So how can a GPS glitch be uncontrollable? That's the question. Okay, enough of that noise, let's just fly around.